How are we doing, everybody? It's Robert from Euronics. I'm here today with Chef Adrian, who's the brand ambassador for, well, I have to say, that's what you are, Chef, <laughs> but you're the brand ambassador for Shark Ninja in Ireland. And today we're going to talk Ninja, everything Ninja and air fryer. Absolutely, yeah. So tell us about air fryers. Why have they become so popular? I think it was a thing of like convenience, but yeah. also people wanted that healthier alternative to your deep fat fryer. That was the thing of the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And I think once this came along and people realized how crispy you could get your food. That was the kind of main key selling points. But there's so many other different things that you can do in an air fryer. Well, see, my thing at home now, all I can do it was I'm really good. We can do chips and we can do chicken goujons. Not what a chef wants to hear, but that's the reality. <laughs> so what can you do? I mean, it, 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 it's um, totally open okay. to, like it's an open book. You think of your oven. What yeah. can you put in your oven? Basically, you can do almost everything that goes into your oven in your air fryer. So that's yeah. the first kind of thought process behind this. Okay. Um, depending on which one you choose as well will depend on what type of dishes you cook. So for instance, we've got the dual drawer yeah. here, which has a probe. So that's correct. I've there, even it's done, here. The AF451, yeah. available in our stores. Um, so I've even done like a full roast chicken in this. Um, roast potatoes. Um, you can even do like, for instance, I've even done steamed broccoli. So you open your drawer, you place in a little bit of water underneath, broccoli sits on top, a little bit of salt on there. Uh, it steams really, really nicely in there. But I, people don't realize that there is several different functions on each of these Ninja air fryers at home. So explain something, because I said to this to you <laughs> earlier, so dehydrate, I don't know what dehydrate. Dehydrate, yeah. So what is it? I mean, dehydrate is the idea, well, dehydrate means dehydrate your food. Yeah. So for instance, we would have done in restaurants like tomatoes, um, even for cocktails, you know, Very like nice. you slice up a little orange or yeah. a lemon or a lime and you place it in there and let it dehydrate. The beauty about the Ninja is when you go to dehydrate in the Ninja, it is a lot quicker. Okay. I think the beauty about these products is that things happen a lot faster, happen a lot quicker. That's than the thing, average, they're quicker. You know. Yeah, so like we would have normally used the dehydrator overnight um, and waited, say, almost 12 hours for fruits to dehydrate okay. for cocktails. With this, literally within two, three hours, you've got your your orange slices for your nice gin gin or you know, <laughs> whatever your strawberry daiquiri whatever it may be brilliant uh, yeah exactly so like even for that but also um healthy peels of vegetables so um if you wanted to go and dehydrate beetroot crisps yeah. or um vegetable crisps i think it's brilliant for that as well okay yeah. so you said something to me earlier on today, and I never knew this about air fryers i was actually shocked because you said you can steam and you've just said it there again yeah. you can steam so all you do is you raise up the, the drawer in the middle. Yeah. We can show it uh, later on, but if you raise it up, you put water in underneath it and you get your lovely exactly. soft or nutrition is kept in your vegetables, should I say? Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, sometimes veg is nice where it's crispy, but also I think for instance, like broccoli or cauliflower are things that you know, you'd normally boil or steam. Um, just that tiny little bit of water in, tray sits on, yeah. the vegetable sits on top and steam away. You can do it on any of the functions. I've tried it on, air fryer function, roast function, also works on bake function as okay. well. Okay, yeah. and you tell me you like the bake function. So tell us about, because I like a chocolate brownie now, to be honest yeah. with you, so tell us about the bake function. I mean, when I was baking, so I removed the, the, um, the what you call it? The, I removed this. Yeah. I can't think of the name of it, but anyway. No, you're fine. Yeah. And what I do is I line it with, so I butter it, like as if you're buttering your brownie tin. Yeah. Butter it, um, parchment paper in, yeah. make your brownie mix as normal, yeah. stick on the bake function, yeah. 25, 30, 25 to 35 minutes, um, your brownie is ready within. And it's a nice shape. And all you do then is you, once it cools, tip it out and you have a lovely brownie in there. But I've done things like muffins, um, cookies. Cookies are great, there's this great trend uh, I think it's great for this one actually because it's quite round. Yeah. Is if you get your cookie dough, press it down, and I've seen people filling it with Nutella, chocolate chips, another layer of cookie dough on top, and uh, tip it out, and you have a nice massive cookie. Oh, lovely. Like yeah, but I think you know it's entirely your call and what you want to bake. Uh, other things I've tried um, is like two ingredient uh, donuts. So it's just basically flour and yogurt mixed together. Shape your dough um, and in. And basically, you end up with these incredible crispy donuts. How long? Oh, literally, they only take like eight minutes. Oh, lovely. Yeah. 
They, they, they can do so much. I know we've tried asparagus, asparagus at home and it's lovely. Yeah, it works good. It comes out really nice because yeah. I hate soggy asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I've tried at home and it's come out and I go, I'm yeah. not eating that. But <laughs> take it out, it is. It's actually crisp. It's lovely. Yeah, it's really um, nice. Yeah. So that's the big thing with them. It's versatility. You yeah, can do pretty much everything. Yeah, like uh, I think, you know, versatility wise, um, you know, just open your mind to what you can make uh, in these. And uh, even for instance, like rice bakes, pasta bakes, you know, anything like that. Think of it. For instance, I'm a bit mad, but I layered up a lasagna in it last week. <laughs> <laughs> and it it worked. And it worked. It worked perfectly. There you just go. layered up my lasagna. Yeah. Does everything. My daughter, she did, um, she was making spice bags in it last week in yeah. hers. And she was sending me pictures and said they were lovely. So yeah. they looked lovely, but I don't know. But again, it's, it was, she has one like this and you just fill the whole thing and just off she up. went. Off you go. Yeah, exactly. Um, Things like that, yeah, spice bags are great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so, good on spice bag, yeah. yeah. I didn't have one now, but this, the, 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 so the air fryer is for everybody. I mean, their the versati yeah. the versatility is amazing. They are energy efficient. Yeah. Um, why are they more energy efficient? Um, I just think with regards um, the use of electricity, uh, preheating this takes like two minutes versus, say, using your regular oven would take 15, 20 minutes to okay. preheat. So I think the beauty of it is, you're very instant, you're very quick. Um, I find it fantastic for lunchtime, especially for myself, so I'm making something healthy for lunch, whether it just be, say, yeah. pesto chicken or whatever it is, or mozzarella chicken. It's really oh, simple, just have something nice, done quick. Um, you know, your meal is ready within 10, 15 minutes. I love that fact about it. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've stopped using my oven at home. I've literally been doing everything. I've else. heard that off a few people. A lot, I've heard that from a lot of people, yeah. So I have this one. Okay. Um, I would, uh, this, uh, I wanted to talk about this one as well, because this is the... Well, let's talk about <coughs> it. So, yeah. I've, you've actually cooked for us on this when it was launched here. Yeah. And you made steaks in it, and they were amazing. Yeah. Like, amazing. <laughs> so, tell us, tell us about this. So, this is the Ninja, um, I would call it smoker, barbecue, air fryer. It's all round, basically. Typical Everything. Ninja product. Yeah, it's just a typical, basic Ninja product where you've got all the functions uh, built into one thing. Um, we have it on the counter today, but this comes with a stand and it sits outside as your barbecue smoker yeah. uh, throughout the summer. But also when you're finished with that during the summer, stick it back into your kitchen and you have your air fryer uh, as well. So I did, um, there's a load of different functions on this, um, but the beauty about it is the flavor enhancer. So it comes with wood pellets. So basically right. you have a, a robust wood pellet or you have an all-purpose. An all-purpose is like kind of like a quick finish of smoke yeah. uh, at the end. Or um, the robust is where, say if you're doing like a rack of ribs yeah. or like a, a, for instance, I did a spatchcock chicken with harissa in there. Um, it gives that slow perfume of smoke cooking throughout. It's tasty. Oh, it's it's just incredible. I know, it's just, that's, you obviously <coughs> cooked the, the meat we had in that because yeah. it was amazing. So it's just not, like your barbecue is just not for burgers. Um, but I have also done like roast potatoes in here. And when you think of it, like regular roast potato is great, right? With your goose fat and all. But in this, where you add smoke to your roast potato, Amazing. it's just next level. Mm -hmm. And honestly, yeah. Stunning. So this has all the functions. Again, the same as the air fryer. You yep. can air fry, you can grill. I did steaks on it. Remember, we did the steak. So it just literally took, you know, a few minutes. Um, you have then dehydrate. Uh, but also then is the smoker uh, is what this thing was kind yeah. of built for. So in the side hatch here, you add your wood chips, it ignites it itself, uh, it perfumes the food, and it slowly cooks things like ribs and, you know. Lovely. You know, proper. I'm going to ask you a stupid question because I don't know the answer. Can I use the smoker in the house or will the house be full of smoke? It'll be full of smoke. Okay. So outside. I just had to ask the <laughs> I question. I tried it. Don't worry. <laughs> I made that mistake. <laughs> smoke alarm's going off. Yeah. No, I just had to ask the question. So if you open it up, so yeah. it's quite a big machine. Yeah, quite so a big, yeah. yeah. So, you so have, what's that piece? That's your air fryer. So that's for your air fry. So if you wanted to do any of your air frying in there, you stick that basket in yeah. and you work away. But also then if you remove that, you've got the bars yeah, so you can grill, grill yeah. everything as well. That removes as well, so it's easy to wash. Okay. So you just remove that. Also, all the grease, if, for instance, if there's grease or anything that comes out of your food, the there's back. a little tray at the back that sits in and captures everything throw and you just dishwasher. remove, throw it into the dishwasher. Everything is dishwasher safe Yeah. Okay. as well. So there you go. So that's that's, that's brand it? new to the market, just available. Just available, yeah. Just available now, yeah.
perfect time for very, I was very lucky to be the first person to cook on one. I think I was one of the first people you made some for. <laughs> it was I went for seconds, but somebody else had eaten it all. So, but it's lovely. So air fryers, air fryers. It is all about air fryers. And look, the reality is there's an air fryer for everybody. Yep. You know, you have your dual, you have your singles, you have your smokers. Um, there is bigger machines on the way, as we yeah. talked about earlier yeah. on. But you are adamant you can cook anything you want in an air fryer, pretty much. Anything. What's anything. the most mad thing you've ever cooked in an air fryer? Oh, this is this is so stupid, right? But toast. <laughs> toast. <laughs> Remove your toaster and use your air fryer. Can Stick you? your toast in it. Yeah, toast. Yeah, just layer up your toast. Just literally stack your bread in and toast. <laughs> well, I'll tell you my experience. Um, we tried it here as we did a little podcast on air fryers and popcorn. Oh, I've, I need to try it, yeah. Actually, I actually never thought it of that. It takes a bit of time. Does it? So we, we tried it in the bag. Yeah. And to be fair, it did pop in the bag after about 10 minutes. The bag didn't catch fire. Um, <laughs> and we tried the little kernels as well. And the kernels popped at about 18 minutes. 18. Um, popcorn was lovely. But yeah. sure, why would you bother the microwave yeah, would do it in three minutes? So, <laughs> yeah. so it didn't win on that one. So yeah. maybe, but look, they, they do pretty much everything. We have yeah. one here in the canteen and there's a fight for it every lunchtime. Everybody wants to have a go at the air fryer. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, we tend to live in chicken goujons, which is probably <laughs> the night, not the right approach. There, there is other um, uh, versions where it's like a slow cooker. Uh, it's like an, I think it's called 11 in 1. Yeah. So the variant where it's like... There's pressure cookers in them Pressure well. cooker, slow cooker... Um, but also they're brilliant for meal makers. Yeah. So if you're interested in doing, say, slow cooks or you want a rice dish where you place your rice underneath and then it, it you're a little bit of liquid into yeah. your rice, so it would it be a stock or whatever, uh, and layer up then, say, even crispy chicken on yeah, top. Yeah. You could do crispy chicken and, uh, you know, nice rice underneath at the same time, which is brilliant. So it's like a meal maker. All yeah, I think the, that's the new Speedy, I think it is. It's 15 speedy. in one or something yeah. it's called. But 15 in one, that's it, yeah. The 15 yeah. in one things it does, which yeah. is nuts. And explain the pressure cooker thing to me, because I don't get pressure cookers. So what's the advantage of a pressure Basically, cooker? Basically, the advantage of a pressure cooker is if you have a joint of meat that's quite tough and needs quite slow cooking, yeah. um, pressure cooker is great for pressurizing that in there to... Um, making that meat soft okay. a lot quicker. So that's kind of the idea of a pressure cooker was always to get, say, slow cooked meats, cheap cuts, really, really soft, really quick. That's the idea. So the bottom line is no matter what you want to cook, the Ninja air fryer or smoothie, or not smoothie, <laughs> or, or foodie has everything covered. Everything, so yeah. from your air fryer to your pressure yeah. cooker to your barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. So there you go. If you want to find out more about air fryers, um, you can call into your local Euronics store or visit us online at Euronics.e. Adrian, thank Chef you. Adrian, Chef thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks Robert. very much. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.